These are called a Grow Ease Seed Starter Kit. It has 24 cells in it right here. And these have been growing for just a few weeks now, and I've only had to fill the reservoir two times. So what I did was I got the soil moist, planted the seeds, filled the reservoir, and then after I filled it that initial time, I've only filled it one other time. So let me show you the parts here, the moving parts. So it comes like this. Take it apart. There's the little clear tray. This is the dome that goes on the top that acts as kind of a greenhouse. And then you've got your reservoir tray right here. So this is just a thick black plastic watertight tray. And then this is the support platform. So this is what holds your growing tray up. So it's not like completely submerged in the watering or in the water. And the other thing about this too is when you're ready to um, transplant your seedlings, you can take this out and lay it down and pop all your seedlings out. These go through the little drain holes in the bottom and will help pop your seedlings out really easily. So you just put this support platform down in there, just like that. And then there's this capillary mat. So this is what conducts the water. So this little piece right here that's got kind of more of the white showing through, this goes down in between the support platform and the edge of the um, reservoir. So you just tuck it down kind of like this in between so that you make sure that it hits the water because this is what will wick all the water up. And then you lay it down, the rest of it down like that. So I hope that makes sense. Um, so the water is wicked on this side. It comes up and travels across the capillary mat, and this is where your grow tray sits. And then your soil can suck the water up from that capillary mat. So that's all you have to do for setup. So now I'm going to plant it real quick, and I don't really want to get this all messy, so I'm going to set the bottom aside and the dome aside. And then I've just got a bowl of seed starting mix, which is really important when you're starting seeds. It's a loftier mix. It's not as heavy. Um, seedlings can easily form roots form roots e more easily. Anyway, so I'm just gonna moisten that a little bit. Just wanna have a nice, kind of even moist consistency, not super wet. And mix that. So this is the consistency you wanna go for, just about like that. So now I'm just gonna fill all of the trays. Just like that. So now I'm gonna rinse my hands off real quick and then I will show you what I'm gonna plant. All right, so the seeds that I'm gonna be planting are a couple of different types of herbs. Um, I've got chives and cilantro, and I got these out of our bulk seed bins down at the garden center where I work. We sell hundreds and hundreds of varieties of non-GMO seeds um, down there, and it's all local right now. We don't have any online store yet, but my brother is actually working on one right now. So at some point, we will probably have these all available. But what I'm gonna do is plant two rows in cilantro and two rows in chives. So I'm just gonna make a little hole with my finger, just a little, uh, shallow one and then I'm gonna plant and I'm gonna start with uh, cilantro here a little bit bigger seed and I'm gonna put two seeds in each cell that way um, I will be pretty much guaranteed I'll have at least one or two plants in each cell and you know you just want to make sure you follow the directions on the back of your seed packets every one of them will have a different uh, seed depth planting guide that kind of thing so you just set the whole thing right on top of here and I'm gonna gently, you can use a spray bottle for this part or a syringe um, or just pour your water very gently over the top here. But see, when you have your soil already moist, it all kind of stays put. When you're watering, if you didn't initially pack enough soil into each cell, especially if you water this way rather than with a spray bottle, it will settle the soil really, really fast and you'll quickly learn which cells didn't have quite enough soil in them. So when you're initially putting your soil in, make sure that it's not packed super tight, but make sure you've got enough soil. I actually just had to add a little bit of extra to this cell um, because it didn't have quite enough. Now, if you're watering with a spray bottle, it doesn't tend to settle the soil quite as dramatically. Um, so that's always a great way to do it, uh, but this way works as well. So I'm gonna give this a little bit of extra water. See how I did here. Yeah, much better. So now I can take my water, my extra water here, and I can fill the reservoir. So I'm gonna move it to the edge here and just pour my water in. You just fill it up to a level just below the support platform. So it's just below the platform and the capillary mat, but that edge, that's the edge of that capillary mat that's folded underneath that support tray is sitting in water and it's able to wick it up. So um, you can put labels in for your seeds, but cilantro and chives are pretty easy and they look so different that I don't think I need to label these. 
and then you put your dome on the top and that's it. So this dome will help kind of create a greenhouse effect for the seedlings. It'll trap in a little bit of heat and humidity and give them a really good start. Once the seedlings are up and looking strong, we'll take the dome off and it won't have to go back on. Uh, I've been keeping mine underneath a grow light upstairs in a, a, a spare bedroom. It also gets lots of natural light. There's a lot of windows in that room. Uh, but I feel like you don't need to put it exactly underneath the grow light. I think that it could be in a, just a really bright windowsill and you'd still have success. Grow lights always make things a little bit easier and the plants a little bit healthier and um, more tight and compact when they're not having to reach toward sunlight. But I still think it can be done. We did a video on grow lights that you can check out if you're interested in um, maybe getting one to help out your growing in the wintertime. Um, so we'll put the link in the description down below. But anyway, I thought that this would be kind of a fun video just to show you how a self-watering system works and that I actually have luck with it. Um, just because, you know, you see all of these products out there that are offered and you think, oh, did these really work? I mean, are they worth the money or is it just some kind of sales pitch? But um, this one really does. And if I can do anything to help eliminate the time I need to spend on individual plants, that's really nice because I've got a lot of plants. So anyway, I hope this video was helpful or interesting to you guys. If it was, give us a like down below and we will see you in the next video. Bye.